there really are no other alternatives. Madman, liar. Or lunatic. <laughs> Madman, lunatic, same, same difference. Lord or Lord. Lunatic, liar, or Lord. If you want to make them all L's, yes, I guess that's where you are going. Lunatic, liar, or Lord. Well, with that, let's look at another section of film. It's four and a half minutes long. He continues. You're going to see some amazing things, and we'll talk about that uh, in four and a half minutes when we get back to you. We need to understand that fossils do not come with labels on them saying how old they are. The scientists have to infer that from other evidence. But there's lots of evidence in the fossil record that fossils form rapidly. Here is uh, some interesting evidence. An ichthyosaur fossilized in the act of giving birth. This creature was swimming along and uh, didn't know it, but a wave was coming along in the ocean, choked with sediments, buried this creature alive, cut it off from scavengers, micro decay organisms, and those sediments were quickly turned to stone. Or look at the fish caught in the act of eating its lunch. Fish decompose very rapidly, and yet we find many, many examples of fish not only preserved in the skeletal form, but even the soft parts, the fins, are preserved. This speaks of very rapid burial. Or consider uh, jellyfish. I mean, they don't have any hard parts at all. And uh, when jellyfish are uh, in storms, they will often be washed up onto the shore. And when they're washed up onto the shore, they are in a fight for survival. And they start pumping on the sand to try to, to get ready for the next wave that will wash up so that they can go back into the ocean. A couple of years ago, uh, geologists found a formation in Wisconsin that had thousands of jellyfish fossils. In the, in the layers, along with these ripple marks, both very transitory features. And they look just exactly like the impressions that are made by modern jellyfish pumping on a beach to survive. This speaks of rapid burial and rapid fossilization. We also see evidence of fossil graveyards. For example, the Karoo Formation in Africa where 800 billion vertebrates, estimated, are buried together, uh, all messed up. This is not where they lived. This is where they were buried. Or consider the uh, formation in Florissant, Colorado. Shell creatures, some fish and birds, and hundreds of species of plants and insects are all buried together in, uh, in one location. They don't, didn't all live together when they were alive but they're buried together. And then there's the, uh, the formation in Agate Springs, Nebraska, which is what this picture is uh, from. And here we find thousands of fossils of rhinoceros, camels, giant boars, and other exotic animals, none of which live in Nebraska today, and they're all mixed together. They're not, they're not buried where they live, they're buried where they're buried. And they're not buried where they just fell over and expired and, got, and died. Some catastrophe mingled all these bones together. Well, how long does it take uh, rocks to form and to erode? When I was working on my PhD in England, uh, I came across an article in a newspaper in Norfolk, England, on the east uh, side of England, and a very interesting article called Magic in the Marsh. And it talked about some geological research going on the, uh, being done on the coast there. And it said, without any regard to the laws of, mud, of geology, mud on the marsh is hardening into stone in a few years rather than the thousands it usually takes. Now there it again, is again. Now how do they know it usually takes thousands of years for rock to form? The answer is they don't. It's an assumption. But now... Reality is going to blow the assumption. It goes on to say, Professor Coleman, the lead geologist on this research, said the rock was forming faster than anybody had ever believed possible. You see what the problem was? It was beliefs. With one stone creating itself in just six months. They often contain beautifully preserved fossils where the detail of the soft flesh of the creature is caught as well as the bone as it had no time to rot before the rock formed around it. It doesn't take millions of years to form rock. All it takes is the right chemicals in the water. Now, what's causing the rock formation here? Well, they studied this 
and they found that it was bacteria in the mud that were eating things in the mud and then cre uh, excreting their waste product, which was producing the cementing agents to turn the mud into stone. That's for Welcome incredible. back to Truth Seekers. Isn't that amazing? Rock forming six months of rock or just a few years with perfectly preserved fossils in them. Now we see that happening fast, so there's evidence that it happens fast. Where's the evidence it takes thousands of years or millions of years? It isn't there. You can only as assume that, Mike, you because make, you we're make not here long enough to, to observe that. Exactly, but we don't have it. So if, you're gonna, if you have a strong scientific argument, it's, it's what you're seeing, that's for sure. You know, we talked too about polystrata fossils. Remember those, Jay? Trees growing through the different strata of layers that supposedly took millions and millions of years to, to be formed, those layers, but yet a tree is growing through one strata that's one type of rock that took millions of years through the next strata which took a whole other x, mil x millions of years. Trees don't last that long standing out in the air letting things just dirt and dust slowly deposit over it year by year, hundred year by hundred year, thousand year by thousand year, million years by million years. The tree decays folks but we've got these entire trees going straight through, upside down sometimes, polystrata fossils, which indicate a very rapid formation. In fact, we see just that happening in the lake below um, Mount St. Helens. We've talked about that and shown some film on that in the past. So we, we see that happening today, you know, that type of, of strata um, developing. I mean, we, we've got a 1 40th the size Grand Canyon that formed when Mount St. Helens blew, there's a hundred, hundred, uh, several hundred foot tall cliff, 400 feet I think, with strata, just the way you'd see it in the Grand Canyon. Looks just the same, just it's a miniature replica and it was formed just in a matter of hours. And so we see these things happen rapidly and before, you know, years ago they said no, no, the catastrophe that we see um, Maybe they're minor little catastrophes, but there certainly were no regional or worldwide catastrophes on the planet. But the evidence we're seeing points to all of that being a worldwide <laughs> flood, which is just what the Bible says, which is just in the legends of every people group go going. They don't have, you don't, you know, you're not going to find in 180 different nations legends of, um, I don't know, uh, of uh, tigers um, that uh, are uh, 800 feet tall that uh, are invisible sometimes. You don't find that in all the cultures, but you do find in many of the cultures about roughly 200 of them, 180, something like that, of a flood happening that everyone in the world died except for a few people in a boat. A lot of them actually have the boat, even have the right number of people in different places. You know, you get stories like that in China and India and the American Indians all over the world. And why would they have similar stories like that? They don't have that story about the invisible 800-foot tiger or, <laughs> or whatever. And, you know, they don't have, you know, the people groups don't have the same story about that. They don't have that story at all. Uh, you know, they don't have a story of um, zebra people visiting from, uh, from the sun, you know, but they've got this worldwide flood happening with eight people or just in a boat and everybody else dying. So what, why is that? And of course we've shown so many other things relating to that, such as what uh, those, what are those Ictha stones, Ica stones? In Inca stones. Inca stones. And what were they, Jay? The burial stones. And, and, and they had pictures of um, fire-breathing dragons and and, and man with a, with a sword underneath their belly. 